planning to add new warning labels to COVID vaccines, cautioning people to watch out for signs of a rare heart inflammation condition. Cases are mostly among teens and younger people. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes joining us live in Nate. Despite the possible link, CDC still saying and urging parents to vaccinate their kids. Well, Jim, local health experts say that getting the vaccine is a much smaller risk than getting COVID itself. And they also say that the CDC says that many cases have been treated of these folks that uh, that are getting these heart problems. Now, the virus can also trigger the same type of heart issues, which which much severe uh, effects. Now, local doctors break down what families should watch out for after receiving the vaccine. Chest pain and the sensation of the heart beating very fast from palpitations, shortness of breath, fever in some cases, and fatigue. Any of those, if they're happening, you definitely want to seek urgent medical attention immediately. Now, those are just some of the symptoms of the heart issue called my myocarditis. People typically see, uh, start feeling symptoms about three to four days after the second dose. The CDC says most cases have been in boys and young men aged 12 to 24, but still very rare. The long term effects, though, are still unknown, particularly for young athletes. Alulade says exercise actually makes the condition worse. So if a kid develops myocarditis, the American College of Cardiology recommends keeping them out of sports and vigorous exercise for three to six months. Other vaccines, though, have also been linked to the heart condition, including the smallpox and tetanus shots. Now, doctors aren't sure why they're seeing more cases in boys than girls, but say the virus is continuing to circulate, so they still highly recommend getting your children vaccinated. Live at the Embarcadero, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.